Hey guys, Ax welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fentola Romeo, and you. Hey, yeah, yeah. Give me Hello love, guys, yeah, yeah. I'm Fentola Romeo, and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is my first ever YouTube video, and I'm so excited because I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. I posted my intro video a month back, and I'm sure you guys will be wondering, like, where did she go to? Finally, I'm here, and this is going to be a question and answer, get to know me, first video, tag, and all that. So I asked you guys to ask me on my Instagram and all that questions you want to know about me. I don't really have, like, a fan base or whatever, but I asked most of you to ask me questions, and I got a couple of questions, not as much as I would have loved to get. But I got a few and I'm going to be adding some things I want to tell you guys about my channel. So without much further ado, let's begin this video. But please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? We're going to give you seconds to do that. Please make sure you comment, leave a comment, like this video if you like it already, give it a thumbs up, tell me what you want me to do better and let's begin. So, first question here is, what is your full name? Okay. My name is Fentola Romeo. Yeah, at times I get questions like your name, your son name is Romeo. Like where is it Julian or something like that? My mom is Yoruba and my dad is from Yoruba State. So my name is Fentola Romeo and I have my Yoruba name. But I'm going to tell you guys in another video. So second question is what school do you attend? I attend Nigerian Navy Second School or Joe. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 15. I was born on the 8th of March 2005. Yeah, I'm young, so there. Yeah. Um, pet peeves. Um, I, I have, I have, I have like a lot. I have a lot. But one of the things that actually like really annoys me and irritates me is people that are fans. You want to be friends with everybody. You want to know everybody. You find it very irritating, actually. That's number one. Second one is proud people. I'm sure everybody dislikes proud people, but I find them very. I find it very annoying. Why are you proud? Like, why are you, like, why are you proud? It doesn't make any sense now. It doesn't really, like, it just doesn't make any sense. Why are you proud? What are you being proud for? You said to me, and another one that actually has to do with pride or people that are proud are people that feel like they always want to, like, be to you. Another thing that also gets on my nerves is people that actually feel like everything is a problem for them or, or people that feel like everything is... A big thing for them maybe they don't like they don't put effort in anything or maybe be friendships or anything you have to do with another person they don't feel they feel like you have to, like another person has to be doing the work let's say in a friendship or something like that no calls no text no something like that and then when you don't do it soon they start like they tag you as a fake friend it, it annoys me because it's not supposed to be like a fighting stuff like that it's supposed to be you put in efforts, I put in effort. So like, what is the... Like, they don't do anything, but they always feel like everything is supposed to be done for them. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say, but I find that very irritating. So I think that's all. Most of those things are known, but number one that I mentioned, that's the one that really gets on my nerves, actually. So yeah, those are my perfumes. Any hobbies that I have for this, I love doing a lot of things. Number one thing I love doing, I love laughing. I just feel like it's just a very fun thing to do. At times when I'm just like alone, I sometimes I do like tell somebody, oh please, can you make me laugh or something like that. You know that. I just like, can you make me laugh or something like that? Because I just, I just, I just enjoy it. Actually, it makes me happy. Another thing I love doing, I love listening to music. If I'm doing anything, I listen to music. If I'm reading, I listen to music. If I'm even reading story books or even school books at times, I listen to music. If I'm doing anything at all, I listen to music because music is life. I love um, dancing. Even though I can't dance, I can sing. But I love dancing. I like reading too. Yeah, I love reading. What else? I love taking pictures. I love going out. You can just call me like, I love having fun. You feel me? I love things that make, like going out, taking pictures, just basically enjoying life. I love all that. What do you think about life? Well, for me, life is a journey. Life is a, life is a school. We learn every day. If you are not making mistakes, you are not growing up. Yeah. And I also saw something at school one day that, you are in school, you are giving, you are in school, you are learning, like they teach you lessons and you are giving tests, 
but um in life you don't know the test like you know like tests come your way but you're not giving any lessons i guess i can't really remember actually how i was supposed and i wanted to write it down because i know that one day something like this will come up so that, i feel like that's why they say that a long a short pen is better than a long memory yeah but for me life is just we learn every day we make mistakes we grow up it's just a it's just a journey like it's just like trying and like like trial and error you do this one it doesn't work out for you, you do another one it works out for you and stuff like that so we learn every day and remember that if you're not making mistakes you're not growing up that's my take on life and life is fun enjoy life to feel like because when you only live once yolo my favorite color i don't really have a favorite color i like i i like all colors it depends on my mood or whatever i feel like wearing that particular time but you can say my favorite color is purple I like it. It's a very unique color and stuff. It's, 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 it stands for like royalty. So I just I just like the color. Yeah, it's very cool. Like I can say that's my favorite color. Maybe purple, black, and probably red. But purple number one. My favorite food. My favorite food is semo and obono soup. It's, it's, it's really nice. Thing. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't really eat it that much, but I like it. Is let's say like twice a week or something like that. It's fun to eat though. I like it. I don't even know what what, what, what number of question is this now. Anyway, next question. Why started a YouTube channel? Yes, I knew this question was going to come up, and even if you guys did not ask me, I was going to tell you. I started a YouTube channel. Let me just say number one because I love it. Um, when I was little, during my childhood days, I'm still a child actually, but when I was younger. When I was younger, <laughs> when I was younger, I used to, I, my sister and I, we would get, get a phone, start recording, you know, all these like radio stuffs now where a caller will call or someone will call and they'll be asking them questions and stuff. We normally do that. I would take my phone or someone's phone rather and record talking, saying things. I just loved talking in the front of the camera or in my, in my mirror. Just, Shout talking to even if it's my toys or anything like that. So I've always liked talking from an early age, and I've always wanted to do YouTube. I would admire sit down, watch, admire a lot of people sitting down with their phones and recording and talking to about whatever content that they want to give. I and this YouTube channel it was actually supposed to be postponed to next day, but I just figured out that the earlier the better. Why not just let me start now? Because it's always something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So I finally gathered courage and I started a YouTube channel. And another reason is because of like money. Everybody, every everybody wants, everybody wants, everybody's looking for money. So if anybody tells you that they started YouTube and they are not adding the money, they are lying to you because but but the, but the thing is that if something is bringing you money and if you don't like it or if you don't have any passion for it, you are not going to enjoy it. It's not going to work out for you. It's like saying that you want to go into maybe something just out of the blues because everybody's doing it and they're making cool cash from it and you don't have any interest in it it's not work out for you dear so go after what you want and monetize it or if you have something you're really good at monetize it because nowadays it's all about talent and passion baby if you do something and if you want to do it go ahead for it so i started to just because i like i like this i want to give content to the world i want to see where my what I can give to people where to say things to and for the money of course next question your favorite subject my favorite subject I've always had a lot of favorite subjects um, when I was in junior school I liked business studies yeah that time I wanted to be a banker but as time went on I realized nope 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 I know that I'm in senior secondary school no offer business or anything but I figured out that I still like business studies because you know economics we do economics now so it's like in the same line so I like economics. That's my favorite subject at the moment. Like your goals for this channel. I have a lot of goals for this channel. I pray that maybe by next year I will have reached a certain level of on this channel. My subscribers will grow, my views will grow. At least I will start getting notice. And I pray that my content will give something relevant to the people that are watching it. You are going to have that. Like, it's going to impact values and things in your life you're not just watching for fun yeah we're going to laugh we're going to talk we're going to just we're going to do all that but at the same time you're going to be going home with something every time you watch my video so that is my goal and i know that i'm going to get there by the grace of god most memorable moments i don't have i don't think i have a lot of things have happened in my life actually 
and I thank God for everything, even the good and the bad. Everything is a lesson, like I said earlier on. So I feel like I've learned a lot from everything. I don't really have a memory, like something I really cherish. I, maybe I can't even remember, but I'm thankful for everything. Even if I'm having a bad day or something, I tend to see, I tend to bring happiness from whatever happens to me. So I feel like I don't have any most memorable or treasured moments, quote and unquote. Pizza or shawarma? Shawarma any day and any time. I like pizza, but I prefer shawarma actually. Ice cream or chocolate? I, if someone gives me ice cream or chocolate, I think I will take chocolate. I don't think I have any other thing to add. Okay, so my YouTube channel, I think no one really asked me what I really wanted to do on this YouTube channel, but I feel I should, like, you guys deserve to know. Being this is my fir- very first video. So, this YouTube channel, I think it's not going to be like the regular ones. Not really regular though, but we're going to talk. We're going to be doing like normal things, games and all that fun stuff. We're going to be doing um chicha girl with me while I'm doing my makeup. So it's going to, it's just going to be like beauty, lifestyle and girl talk. So as I'm talking, I'm doing this, I'm like everything basically in my life and things I would want to share with you guys. And when it comes to girl talk, I would love to be I would not like being I'm not like a feminist or something like that. But I feel like girls we need to be more aware of things happening to us things we need to know about how to better our lives so it's going to be like an empowerment um, um stuff and something like that actually so on my channel we're going to be talking about things like building your self-confidence um believing in yourself no i'm not allowing things just like all those kind of things do you understand what i'm trying to say we're going to be doing all that on my channel so I feel this is going to be a very I'm so excited for this journey. I'm so I'm very excited. I'm so excited for this my very first YouTube video because I know you're excited too. I know, I know you're excited. And I'm also excited. I hope everything is going to go as planned. Everything is going to go well. Please, 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 please. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, I'm sure you like this video. I'm 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 very sure you like this video, okay? So I think that is all for my very first video. I think you all know enough about me now. As time goes, I'm going to be telling you more about myself. But being my first video, you know me, who I am, and what my video and what my videos are going to be about. I'm going to try and post this video very soon. You're not going to, the day the day, day you're watching this video is not going to be the day I recorded it. It's going to be maybe a few days later. But I'm going to try and upload it as soon as possible and upload my next video. Please let comment down below what videos you want me to post next because i don't really know actually i know but let me just see what you guys want me to give to you and what you feel about this video follow me on my socials instagram and twitter i'm going to be down below in the description box share the video with your friends and family and give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye yeah, yeah. give me love oh, yeah, yeah. I'll give you love, oh, Jeje, oh Give me love, oh, Jeje, oh